is so we're going to talk about how to become or how to be your best digital self. And I have four pieces of advice that I think can go a long way in order to do that. So when we talk about being your digital self, what we're talking about is being the person that you are, but how that gets represented in a digital space. So what other people see that you put out to represent yourself um, on the internet in different ways. And so the first thing we want to think about is that anything you share might be permanent. And it doesn't matter what platform you're using. If you make anything public in so much as you even send one thing to one other person, it might be permanent. So even starting with something simple like email, you send one email to one person, that person has that email, they have whatever the content is, and now it's theirs, theoretically forever, and they can share it with anybody that they want. So making sure that the content that you're sending to other people is something you'd be okay with going out to anyone in the world, depending on your level of trust for that person, is really, really important. The other thing is that you wanna be positive or proactive. <clears throat> so we're using sites like maybe Twitter or like sites like Facebook, and we're posting our thoughts and posting what we think. Be positive. You want to be a positive person online. You want other people, when they see the things that you put out there, you want them to see you as a positive person. Now, there is an exception to that. We can't all be all positive all the time. That's impossible and kind of dumb. Because sometimes things happen that are genuinely bad, and we don't want to be positive about that. But we shouldn't be passive, we should be proactive. So instead of just complaining in our tweets, or instead of just whining on Facebook, what we want, might wanna do is put out things like ideas of how we think the problem could be fixed, or reasons why we think there is a problem and what people could do about it. That is being proactive. So you might not be positive in that moment, you might be against an idea, but you're not just whining and complaining, you're proposing solutions and you're giving reasons why something's a bad idea as opposed to just saying it sucks. You also wanna consider that your digital self is a highlight reel of you. It's not the same thing as being in person and talking to people that you know and see on a daily basis. Those people see way more of you than people who only see you in a digital space. People who only see you in digital space are flooded with other content and they see lots and lots and lots of little bits of different people. And so when they see the little bits about you that you put out online, make sure those are the best possible things that you have to show the world. So we think about something like Instagram, we wanna be putting out the best of us on Instagram. We wanna be putting out the best of us on Facebook, we want Twitter to reflect the best of us. We want to put out the best of us because other people don't see all of us. They just see these few minutes. And so if they're just seeing a few seconds at a time, show us the best of who we are. And then the last thing to think about in terms of like who we follow across all these platforms or what we follow is if you follow something, you're kind of like pledging a public allegiance to it. You're basically saying to anyone who sees your account, I'm cool with whoever or whatever this person is and whatever kind of content they produce. So say we follow someone on YouTube who's, I don't know, they're really funny, but once in a while they say something that's like kind of mean or maybe like a little bit racist. Well, just because they're funny doesn't mean that you want to endorse their ideas publicly. If that person is putting out ideas that you're like, no way, that's like the wrong thing to say. They shouldn't say that. Even if they're funny, or even if they kind of seem kind of cool for a minute, we wouldn't want to follow them or subscribe to them because you're si taking their side. You're on their team. So you want to be really careful about who you follow and who can see who you follow because who you follow and who, what you follow is who you are. So those are kind of the basic ways to think about how to be yourself in the digital space.